Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Darksiders 3, where we have a puzzle in front of us. Now, I have a pretty good idea of what to do here. I think what you gotta do is stop the conveyor belt and then quick... Wait, but how am I gonna get in between those rocks? You know what? There's no other choice but to try it, right? Because... Yeah, and then we can... Oh, you can get on. Oh, no, no you can't. Shit, okay. I thought we would be given a lifeline by being a... Oh, shit. So you can't even do that. You gotta be fairly early, I'm guessing, in stopping the conveyor belt. Here it comes. Now. Okay, this has gotta be it, right? Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, I was mashing jump like crazy there. But hey. It worked, didn't it? Which me... Oh. I saw it. Out of the corner of my eyes. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not stupid. Well, sometimes when it comes to puzzles, I am. But not always. Not always, I like to think. That I have my moments. Especially in Resident Evil 6. Which, you know, has more difficult puzzles than this. Although there have been a few brain stompers in this one too. Especially early on. The hollow area. There was a death fire puzzle I just could not fucking figure out. Wait a second. I've been here, haven't I? Wait a second. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe I am stupid. Oh, wait. There's other places you can go. Because I'm blind. Why didn't that count as a dodge? That should have. It's all It's all good. It's all good. I was really worried there for a fraction of a second that this was just a useless shortcut. But even that, this game is not that cruel. Well, it's cruel enough to just straight up kill me. Because... Normal enemies do ungodly amounts of damage in this game. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, I have read up on how the scaling and all that works. The enemies do scale with you. So, no matter how much you level up, they're always gonna do crazy amounts of damage. Or like, uh, equal amounts of damage. Which, I'm not sure if I like that. I don't really like scaling enemies in video games. One of the reasons why I think... Oh, sorry, I just gotta make a tiny adjustment to my mic. Apologize for uh, the potential ear rape. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I have no clue where I am in relation to where we were. However, I really don't want to go through that fucking puzzle again. Even though I feel like I, I will have to. But yeah, again, like Final Fantasy VIII does the same thing. No matter how powerful you get, uh, the enemies always are just as powerful. Which, again, it's a thing. You can do it, but I'm not a big fan. Even in Final Fantasy VIII, you can like overpower yourself like crazy. In this game, you can't. Which means that the regular enemies become actually way more of a threat than the bosses which is just a little bit you know oh shit there's only one here god that i really don't want to go through this place or fight these assholes but how am i gonna i think i think i went the wrong like look at that I've literally taken two hits. But hey. We love this game because... Oh, did he just kill himself? Yes, he did. Please tell me I got this. I don't got this, do I? No, I don't. Fuck. 
Shout out to that boulder going through the grinder. I'm sure there was a Volgrim checkpoint closer. It's just I've completely forgotten how this whole area links together. Because uh, this one is very involved. This is a large area. So I might warp around like an idiot for a little bit. The only downside to that is the load times, but hey, whatever. So, yeah, this, we're, here we are in Darksiders 3. Really pushing to finish this game and then get to streaming. Because I have some good-ass ideas on what I will be streaming. Is it this one? Gnarled Cliffs. I think this one might be it. Drilling Annex. I have no clue. I think it's not this one. So yeah, I have some good ass ideas on games that I'm going to be streaming. And also some other video ideas I've been wanting to do. Which I won't spoil, but I will get to. I'll try getting to those eventually. I'm really hoping that this is... Something, something, something dark side. If not, we'll just come back. So the enemies, that's the problem. Especially the one that, that shielded one that calls the other enemies is so annoying. Yeah, because to me, this signal is a shortcut, but... Again... I've been, now this is looking very much like it. Yes, this is it. This is actually it, Chief. Well, that was a lucky guess on that 50-50. Actually, it's more than a 50-50 because there were more guesses. Oh, yeah, just track. Cool. I don't even remember what I died. Oh, these assholes. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, that freeze frame, though. Come on, game. Yes. That deals so much damage. Weird, because this enemy wasn't, like, even remotely a threat before, but, like, this combo... This is a wombo combo. There we go. Nice. Freeze him. There you go. Ain't blocking that shit. Alright. Took way more damage than I intended to. But hopefully if we're getting to the end of this place, there will be a very conveniently placed Volgrim checkpoint. Although I have a slight feeling that we're nowhere near close to getting done with this area. Although I like this place, like... Oh... Oops. It is the fucking tornado that follows us. Yep. It's a giant ass tornado that's making my controller vibrate. I see where we gotta go. We'll see if it patrols or what the hell it does is that is straight up an insta kill it's like it goes around in circles i don't know it has like a weird again like tracking to it okay 
did not intend to do that. So it's like we gotta get in there somehow. What up, tornado? Yeah, this one just like doesn't swerve around to track us. I don't know which one is faster. All right. Much needed checkpoint. Much needed. What would you ask of this? I have like zero souls. It's all good. But yeah, again, I feel like this place... Oh, another one of these puzzles. These... Yeah, okay. I feel like uh, this area is fairly involved. Okay. I think what you gotta do is knock this thing on here. Yeah, but the tornado is gonna suck it up. But if I take it here, it's gonna bring it along. No, it's not. It's gonna take it back. And this game and it's fucking sentient tornadoes. My idea was that it will drop it. It's straight up coming after us. Interesting. Oh, you can do that as well. Because that opens it, okay. That That is not the problem, really. The problem is... How do I do this from the other side? You just gotta be quick. It almost looks like you can make it, as in run. Because actually my initial idea was to... Deposit this thing on the other side and then Maybe if you're super quick, I don't I don't know doesn't feel like the solution I'm gonna be honest What if I come on run Hmm yeah, I can, it looks like you can almost make it. Problem is, it takes you. Alright, you just bring this thing over here. Somehow you're gonna have to, like. But, ah, so annoying. <laughs> this is quite a conundrum. I will say that much. I have to like somehow get it to... That's the only solution I can think of to run. Can I position myself closer or do I have to... Yes, you can. Nah, that's even worse. Ah. Uh. I feel like this is something really simple and I'm completely missing the whole idea. I'll run. There's no way. There's no way. I I I don't, I literally don't get it. There's no other there's no other room, there's no other switch. There's nothing. Shit. Okay, this is gonna make me feel like an idiot. And look like an idiot too. Yeah, nothing happens.
So it drops it here. That's not the issue. Wait, what, what happens if I hit it with this? Nothing. I thought you can like freeze it in time or something. Yeah, that you you cannot make it. Oh man, okay, time to Google this shit. Oh man, I cannot fucking believe it. I was right the last time we did it. You are supposed to freeze this thing with your. There's a metal grate above us. Like, like why? Why? It doesn't matter. You're supposed to freeze it with your other thingy. Uh, with your time ability, but see, I abandoned the idea because there's like no visual feedback. Like when I hit it, like see the other rocks have like that very distinctive blue glow to it when you hit them or other things, but this one just didn't do shit. So I thought that it's not the solution, but apparently it is. Well, wonderful. Never mind. So was I an idiot or was I not? I kind of had the right the right thought. Actually, I probably was an idiot. But hey. Can't be a puzzle solving god every single time. And we have our off days. Okay, so slam this shit. Yeah, there is kind of visual feedback, just not a whole lot of it. There you go. That gives you enough time. Alright, never mind. Do I have to do this shit? Oh, if you die, you have to do it again. Sounds like a plan. Is this a tornado machine? Or what? Oh, do you have to... Weird. I hit the switch. Probably did something. Something really obvious, right? That I'm missing. Okay, well. Brain fart into brain fart. This is... Get over here, you bitch ass tornado. You know you wanna. A fire tornado. It tanked us, seriously? She's uh, turned into quite the bitch. The Watcher, I mean. Like, this has been quite the role, rever uh, role reversal, I can't even talk. Where we've turned into the nice ones and she turned into the bitch. Whereas, it was the other way around. Okay. Ahead will be a load screen. But hey, we've gotten through every load screen before. 
We'll get through this one now. If it doesn't crash again, as well. Are you ready for another round of wrath, mistress? Second and final Yes, but before that, before we talk about Wrath, we gotta talk about Volgrim first. Wait a second, are you kidding me? All along, we've been working to unlock this. Well, shit. Who knew? Who knew? I thought this was going to be like a big, you know, thing, but I guess it wasn't. Because we just come full circle, but that's cool. That's good level design, a la, a la Dark Souls, you know. Looks like we're going up. I think I'll use my electricity. Okay, maybe she's still a bitch. Mark Hamill was better. Well, GG's. Oh shit. Fucking demon coliseum. This is the same thing as in Darksiders 1, but we fight ash worms in the arena there. It's quite the beatdown. There he is, our boy. That's some 1984 shit. Sure, it's hell easier to kill them in the cutscene than in fucking real life. Quite the face. I was just gonna say that, like, aren't Wrath and Fury essentially the same things? On some level. Is he gonna be a pushover? He wasn't that difficult the first time I fought him either. Except he deals a shit ton of damage. I want to use my slow down sword. Took a couple of tries the first time around, but oh shit. New move. Did he just get HP back? I think he just did. Just be distracted, please. Oh, fuck. He gets HP. I gotta slow him. That's why he got so much HP back. Holy...
What the hell am I supposed to do here? And he killed me. I think you gotta slow him down. That must be it. That must be it. Give this one more shot. Because why not? I was like, damn, this boss is easy as shit. But there's some... There's something that I'm missing. I th That's the only thing I could think of. The time slowdown. Of my weapon here. Man, would I take an off-screen hint indicator right about now? Or maybe there's some way to stop the flow of enemies? I don't know. Oh, thought it would transition into cutscene mode and I could skip. But I'm guessing not. Only a load screen awaits. Shut the fuck up. Do I have like a... That didn't work at all. That kick. It's like this most dangerous attack. Because that's the one that has like... No wind up. Again, because that this is the only thing that slows him down enough. Or this. Wait, it don't work on him though. He's not long enough. Oh shit. What the... What am I supposed to do? Holy fuck. Is he just gonna... He's gonna just charge himself back. It is like a thing, you gotta beat him multiple times. Cause these guys gotta run out after a while. Yeah, cause that time slowdown doesn't last nearly long enough. Especially if I miss. There's something here that I'm missing. Shit. Uh, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Maybe just lure him away. This is so fucking fast. To get to his... Little HP boost. Yeah, because he can just do that. Just keep coming with more enemies. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I am stumped. Um, but you just gotta engage your... Super Saiyan mode, you know. Or do I gotta like... That was uh, interesting. Nah, that don't do shit either.
Even then, it doesn't slow him enough. He has all his HP back. Yeah, with the ground pound too, like... There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. And I'm gonna look for... Other things that you might need to do. Good thing I saw that coming. You can't even kill these guys. I thought you could. Maybe like... Stifle the flow of supplies. Yeah, okay, I straight up don't get this. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. And yeah, we'll look at what to do here. So this is gonna be a shorter episode. And I don't wanna Google like double shit in one episode. We'll get back to this one in the next one. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.